Bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are discussing six ways to dominate your sexual drive and temptation. Let's face it, friends, many people who are confessing Christ Jesus are living in blatant sin against God through your loins. They are fornicating, some are committing adultery, masturbation, it is all sin, and we want to look at how we can dominate and bring in subjection, not only our physical loins, but the mentality, the mental state of mind. The number one thing, and these are in no certain order. Number one, you must get rid of your sexy. If you are a a, a woman, a sister, you got to get rid of your sexy. When I first met Jesus, the first thing he told me to get rid of was all of my sexual attire. Come on, ladies. We know how to showcase it. We know what we're working with. But if you keep on fooling yourself, and you plan out the harlot and you keep on slipping up saying God knows my heart. No, you're playing sis and you you are taking for granted what Jesus has done. We cannot play with this flesh because if you feed that flesh it will dominate you. It will take full control over you. And when we speak of sexual garments, anything tugging, anything hugging, get rid of it. Anything that showcase your breast, anything that showcase your silhouette is out of order. Get rid of it. Because, friends, let's face the facts. When we put our sexy on, we know what we're doing. And this does include shoes. I have been saying this on the channel. Come on, sisters. You know this spike heel and your, your sexy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I call them scandal sandals. You got to get rid of this stuff because it stirs you up and it keeps you what? Self conscious. And as long as you are conscious or conscious about your outer court, your physical appearance towards everyone else, how could you be spiritual? How could you keep your mind on things that are spiritual, things that are good, when you are constantly thinking about yourself, how you you're walking and how everybody's looking at your 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 you know your backside and your hips and your you 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 know what you're working with. And when you adorn it and all that hip hugging and all them strappy laces and your shoulders is out. All of this is out. Come on, ladies. You're going to keep stirring up your loins. It's not possible to be sexually pure and to get your stronghold still entertaining the scandal sandal and all that sexy. Y'all know what I'm saying is right. You know it. Come on, ladies. Number two, male or female, no contact. When you keep contacting and texting and, and, and having all types of interaction with people who you know that are not in God, you know you're attracted to them, you know that they're easy prey, you know that you know how to say what to say to get them to, to be stirred up and you playing cat and mouse, friends, you're not going to come out of sexual sin. It is not possible because you playing cat and mouse. Don't do it, friend. Don't, 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 uh, you know, hey, as. As they say, all you got to do is put a little bit of what? Cheese on the trap. And some of you, your cheese is that booty and them breasts and them thighs. That's the cheese. And you keep on showcasing and you keep putting it out there, friend. And then you, you're going to have a, send your little Snapchat and you see all your breasts up in that picture and you playing. You're playing. You, you're having all types of contact that's inappropriate. And friends, you playing. Number three. And listen, friends, you can't have God's peace and the joy of the Lord as your strength. And you keep on entertaining your loins. That's why many people, their vanity is causing their insanity because they keep playing cat and mouse games with ungodly people, men and women, women and men, playing all these games. You won't get your stronghold and you're going to continue to be miserable. Number three, music and TV. Friends, you know this. We, we hear it constantly all the time. You must guard your heart. You cannot entertain from the darkness all of that, you know, music that make your hips want to hop. Come on. If it's if it's a hip hop, it make your hip want to hop. And if you are entertaining your flesh with this type of music, it's a rap. 
<laughs> your loins is going to continue to have control over you. Television, what you see, beloved, what you put your eyes on, when you keep watching all of that worldly, secular, especially reality television, where they exalt beauty, they exalt all of it, friends, you will never, ever get your stronghold. Number four, you must be careful. Oh, friends, I tell you, this one is very, very important, and that is perfumes. You have to be careful, friends. Let me get my little bottle right here because I, I want to illustrate this. You have to be careful when you are spraying on all your perfume in the morning. Come on, you just doing you. You just getting all dialed up with all that perfume and cologne. Oh, friends, it could trap you. Is there anything wrong with putting on perfume? No. The Bible says that Esther, when Esther was being prepared to go before the king in the beauty competition, pretty much that's what it was, <laughs> because the king's wife didn't want to dance for him and his friends because he was drunk. They went looking for a new wife. And we know that Esther, she was bathed for six months in some of the best and some of the, uh, I mean, <laughs> probably most most beautiful smelling fragrances. This was Esther. Now we also must consider the flowers of the fields is where most extractions come from for from perfume. God made scent, friend. Scent is all around us. And so even pine trees, come on, friends, this stuff is beautiful. There is nothing wrong. If someone wants to demonize perfume, it, it, you're going too far. <laughs> it's just, come on, friend, you got to use your brain, your cognitive thinking that God gave us, even the the, the valley lily, roses, they're very fragrant and they smell beautiful. So for us to say that it's evil, it that's no. But for you to just spray the whole bottle on you and you everywhere you go, you keep your perfume with you and you do another squirt in between every uh, time you go from your car to another store or another meeting, you steady putting this stuff on. No, friends, you are playing out that game. You must be careful of perfumes because we know what we're doing. And sometimes it is clear as day. A person is trying to arouse other people by getting your attention with your scent. So we know it's real, friends, but we must be careful. We must try our heart. If you wear perfume, why are you wearing it? How much of it are you wearing? But for anyone to try to demonize perfume, no. You are you. That's too much. You're going too far. But come on here. Those of us that have his spirit, we know when we are going too far. And beloved, if you're trying to get your stronghold over your loins, you may do good to put it all away till you get your stronghold. Because we know what we all of our little tricks. Come on. Come on. As soon as you walk up on them, you 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 like I know they smell me. I'm smelling. Come on. Don't play no games with your flesh because you will lose. The flesh ain't nothing to play with, friends. Number five is social media. If you are still having all types of interaction, especially, I'm, you know what? I'm trying to figure this out. How, how do many of us justify all of those sexy men and women who are your friends on social media? You're supposed to be a man of God a woman after God's heart, and all your friends is sexual. Breast everywhere. Backside poses everywhere. Some of the, the people put their whole booty in their thumbnails. Ridiculous. Friends, you got to cut all that out. You got to go and clean it up. Delete, delete, delete. You ain't being my friend enticing my eye gate. Some of you need to go and clean it all up. And some of you simply need to get off of social media. Because if you don't think for a second that the enemy doesn't have people who are out to assassinate you and send you those messages in that inbox, you are a married man, you're a married woman, and you allow all these sexual divas and, and Jezebels and Delilah, you allow all of these spirits spirits, brother and sister, to come up into your, uh-uh. Some of you women, you, you, your past lifestyle, you were into perversion and you entertain all of these sexual, overly stimulated, posed people on your social media. Uh-uh. You don't have no boundaries. And then, beloved, when you are constantly finding yourself stirred up in your loins, friends, you got all kind of doors. We got to shut these doors. And one of the number one way they get in is right through social media. Number number six, no touch. Don't touch me. Oh, friends, you can't let them touch you. 
If you are a man, you ain't got no business touching no woman because once you touch us, oh, something be happening. Don't touch. You can't. You start hugging and a little kissing here and there, oh, you go get it. You go get in trouble. So there you have it, beloved. Six things you want to do to lock up and lock down temptation in your loins. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.